Well, this is one infographic that I created using Gemini AI. And this is also the same infographic except now the color theme is very different. It is a lot darker. But if you look closely, the text is very much accurate. There is no problem with the text. There is no issue with the icon. And overall, the design looks very interesting. So this infographic, this picture wasn't created using the typical AI image model. Instead, I was using a regular AI model that is producing text. So in case you didn't know, if you are creating an infographic or any content that has lots of text in a picture, there is a good chance that AI is not going to be able to render the text perfectly. One example is this infographic which I covered on my previous video. So you can use Gemini or Quen AI to produce this nice looking infographic. But unfortunately, there is no guarantee that the text is going to be 100% perfect. So that's the downside of using an AI image model. So the solution is by using a regular AI model that is producing text and it will guarantee that the text is going to be always accurate. So basically, I was using a tool from Google called Google Stitch and it is designed to create a UI design for applications and websites. But we can also utilize it to create a nice looking infographics or dashboard in just a few minutes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it because it is not quite straightforward, but the result is really, really worth it. Now, for this example, I will try to convert this article that talks about the home fire safety and I want to turn that into a nice looking infographic. So first, I have to summarize the content and I'm going to be using the Gemini AI. So this is the instruction that I'm going to use. And by the way, as usual, all the prompts will be available in the description down below. And I'll just copy the URL of the article. And of course, you can also use a document to be converted into a sort of list that later can be used for the infographic. Okay, now just wait and it is reading the content from the page. It might take quite some time. And later we are going to be using the tool called Google Stitch. And this tool is still in experimental phase, but it is very much usable and it is available globally. Okay, so we got the content. It's very good. Now uh, you can navigate to Google Stitch. Just type Google Stitch on Google and you should be able to find the tool. So now we get to stitch.withgoogle.com and you can log in with your Google account. And here, I do recommend to use the experimental, experimental mode because you are going to be using a much more powerful model, which is Gemini 2.5 Pro. But maybe in the future, when you are watching this video, there could be an even bigger model and feel free to use that. Now, I'm going to copy this instruction and let's paste that right here. So at the end, you have to insert the content that was produced by the previous AI thread. So let me just copy this. And let me just paste that right here. I guess I'm going to add a sort of title. Uh, fire, sorry, home, fire, safety tips. But this is going to be the content that will be converted into the infographic. Now, after that, you can select web. You can use mobile, but for my testing, it's usually kind of glitchy. It is not always consistent. And there's also another reason that I'll talk later. So for now, I do recommend to use the web mode. And after that, just click generate designs. So this process might take quite some time because AI hey, must design everything or design the poster based on this instruction. So, and about the reason why I do recommend to use the web version or the desktop version is because if you're using a mobile design, there is a good chance that the infographic is going to be very, very long. Now, generally speaking, infographic is going to be vertical, but since this tool, Google Stitch is designed for creating UI, it is going to make the design very, very long. This is not a problem for application or website, but if you want to create a picture, then this could be an issue. And that's why I do recommend to use the re regular desktop design. And then later we can convert that into a more vertical design. Now I got this result. Honestly, it, it doesn't look great, but fortunately we can always as, as AI to redesign everything again. So that's what I'm going to do. Hit enter and just went again 
if there is anything that you want to change, you can always ask AI to do it. So I guess I, I have to go back and forth with AI and I'll just skip over and show you the final result. Okay. Okay, so this is the second iteration and definitely it looks way, way better than the first one. Now, it's time to turn it into a more vertical design and fortunately, the way to do it is quite simple. Just select the design and tell AI to make it more vertical. Turn this design to be more vertical. Or maybe you can use keywords like mobile version or tablet version. Now send the message and just wait again. Okay, so we got this result. I think it is decent. Perhaps the only issue is there is this big area, the big empty area on the left side and also the right side of the design. But it's easy to fix. You can use any AI, sorry, any image editor to crop that area. So it's not a big deal. Now, we just need to download this as a picture. So the way to do it is very simple. Just click on a design and then click this button and then go to not download, but view code. So switch to design and after that you can right click and save image as and then save it to your computer. So we got this picture again the problem of the big gap on the left and the right side is not a big issue we can just use any image editor to remove that. And now we got a great looking design that was created by AI and as usual there's going to be no problem with the text, the icon looks great, the color can be changed and overall the design looks pretty and in case you want to change something like the border radius, the color etc you can just click on the design again, click this icon and then select the color that you want to use. So yeah that's basically how you can make the uh, sort of convert anything from documents to a website into a great looking infographic design using the Google Stitch feature. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.